This video will explain how you can dramatically increase your lead volume and your lead quality by combining Facebook ads with questionnaire software. And we'll detail the exact strategies that we're using at Blylick James to lower lead costs by 10 times and produce three and a half million pounds worth of leads in the last 12 months. We've hyperlinked relevant sections below so you can navigate the video and find what's most relevant to you. Stay tuned until the end as we'll be giving you a review and a rundown of what we believe is the best questionnaire software available on the market right now. Now we've tried quite a few actually, but nothing so far has been better than score app. Okay, so first of all, what is questionnaire marketing? Quite simply, it's driving people to a questionnaire that they can complete. Now these can be fun or informative. And I know what you're thinking, why would anyone complete a boring questionnaire online? This isn't gonna work. And in principle, I agree with you. However, if the questionnaire is relevant to the problems the target customer is facing and offers them something bespoke and of value at the end of the questionnaire that they can receive instantly, then they will complete it. Now, for example, we have a client that works in employment law. Now, most of his potential customers' biggest blockage to phoning a lawyer to help them is that they're not sure that they even have a case. So our questionnaire, once completed, will give them a score of how likely they will be able to have a successful employment law case. And another client in the cybercrime space runs a questionnaire that allows people to answer some great questions and they then get a report that assesses their cyber vulnerability. All of these reports are really custom and bespoke to exactly the questions that they're answering. So this really is the key here. You have to offer something of value to your target market that is bespoke and gives them instant feedback. Now, because it's the thing that is of value that will draw people in to completing your questionnaire. But you have to ask yourself, what do they really want? Now, all great marketers will ask this question. And if you want your ads to succeed, you have to get this right. Now with my legal client, people don't really want to know just whether they've got a case. What they really want is compensation or justice for being mistreated at work. Now what my cyber security clients want is reassurance that they are safe from cybercrime. It's not just about the information they receive. Now, if you are, for example, like an extension builder, it's really hard to stand out in your market. Most extension builders rely on referrals and recommendations, and it's really difficult to scale a business that way because you need proactive lead generation to scale. So ask yourself, what would be of massive value to the target market? And when people are at the start of their journey looking for an extension, what they want is an idea of how much it's gonna cost. They want a ballpark figure. But with questionnaire marketing, you can run Facebook ads to your target market, asking them to fill in a few questions in order to get a no obligation and instant quote. Of course, it's not gonna be entirely accurate, but that's fine. That can be explained in the terms and conditions. So once you've captured these people's details, you can send further information and you can look to establish a relationship with which to build sales. So let's talk about the ads. Now the ads part is no different to any other ads that you're gonna run on Facebook. So make sure you subscribe to the channel for great advice on Facebook ads. However, what I will reinforce in this video is that the hooks that are in your copy, in your imagery, and in your videos need to focus on what the person really wants as well as what they will get from completing the questionnaire. So with your ads campaign, you're gonna to need to do a great deal of testing and you're gonna to have to have a look at what impact your ads and your audience targeting, your messaging, your creatives are actually having on completion rates on the questionnaire. Landing pages is also very important to that. When we've run this campaign, the most stark example I can give you is when we took a client from getting leads through Score App and Facebook ads. And initially we were getting leads for 78 pounds, which just wasn't a scalable model but with changes just to the landing page and the questionnaire, and I'll go through some of the things we, we did later, we managed to reduce that lead cost to just two pounds per qualified lead. It made such a massive difference, but in order to get there, we had to dive into the analytics and score out. This is where we found it has really stood out. It's got this insights tab, and you can really go into it to understand how people are using the landing page, what questions people are engaging with well, what the drop-off rate and all the questions is. The important thing with your Facebook ads is to test what impact 
that is having on completion rates of your questionnaires. So we find the best strategy when you start a campaign driving Facebook ads to score app is to start with a smallish budget just to get your data because you're not going to get everything right straight away. You're not going to have an optimized landing page immediately. You're not going to have an optimized questionnaire, copy, messaging, imagery, all of that straight away. So what we like to do for our clients is we start with a smaller budget, might even be as low as 500 or a thousand pounds a month. And then once we start achieving a good lead cost and a good lead quality, then we have conversations with the client about scaling at that point. So our advice, you will get enough data on a low budget to make rational, reasonable decisions using this strategy. You don't have to spend a lot of money, which is why we like it and we think it's a fantastic lead generation strategy. So let's talk landing pages. Landing pages is a really, really big topic. But what we found is the difference that a good landing page can make or break one of these campaigns. So I'm gonna give you some top tips. First of all, we have tried strategies where we drive people straight from the Facebook ads immediately to the questionnaire with no landing page. And we've never found that to be as successful as when we use a landing page. We've worked before with landing pages that our clients have created when they've tried to do this strategy themselves and what we find is a frequent problem is the whole landing page design is wrong they're giving too much information to clients what you need ideally is a great headline think of it like a newspaper headline because it doesn't matter how good the article is on a newspaper if the headline's poor nobody's going to read it so you need a great headline then what we like to do is give people three reasons why they need to complete that questionnaire going back to our legal client and this is what the top of the landing page looked like. Do you have a case under employment law? That's the big grabbing headline. Then we go into, you could be due compensation or negotiate a favorable exit. Answer a few short questions and get instant feedback. So we're grabbing them with the pain point and then we're teasing them with what they really want, which is compensation or negotiating a favorable exit. Then we give them those three points. It just takes two minutes. This is quick. We're not gonna keep you long you will receive customized results instantly, another big one, and they will understand whether they can get financial compensation. So you can see how that's really, really impactful. The other big thing is often with landing pages, people give people too many things to do. You know, there's too many buttons, there's too many options. Give people one thing to do, which is to click through and complete your questionnaire. Outside of that, they can bounce off and go do something else or they can complete the questionnaire. Those are the two options. There's an old saying in marketing and sales, which is a confused mind never buys. So if you confuse people with lots of options and give people lots of things to go and bounce around and do, they're gonna do that stuff. They might not take the action that you really really want them to do, which is to be able to submit themselves as a lead. Okay, now finally, we've got the questionnaire. Now the quality of your questionnaire is absolutely vital. And some basic tips, the Score App software is fantastic because what it will do is it will give you feedback per question. Now this is what a lot of the other platforms that we've worked with didn't do. So we never really knew where the blockages was. With Score App, we can see the questions where people are bouncing off. And you can either rework those questions to see if you can reduce the bounce rate or you can just delete them. So with some of our clients, we've gone from 15 questionnaires to just eight questionnaires. I'd also give them no more than four options. So you can do multiple choice and we just give them four options. We had when we were working with clients who had pre-existing questionnaires up to eight and 10 options. They also used really confusing language in their questions that was more specific to them as an industry and wasn't really written towards their target customer. So simplify the language, but look at the data strip out anything unnecessary and just a maximum of four options. You might want to put in there some sort of custom questions where they have to physically type. That will weed out bad quality leads because it forces people out of their quick thinking brain into their slow thinking brain. And that will, in our experience, improve your lead quality. But you don't want too many of them. You don't want to be making it a long, laborious process for people. Okay, so that's it. If you've reached this far, that's great. I've I've given you lots of information then to get cracking with your questionnaire, with your Facebook ads and your questionnaire marketing. What I'm going to do now is just take you into a quick review view of the score app. So what we found with the score app is it has massively outperformed other softwares that we used. I won't name the ones that we've used, but we've used three different questionnaire marketing type softwares and the price ranges can be broadly similar, some cheaper, some slightly more expensive, but the results that they've improved aren't the same. And the reasons for that, I think, is the landing page builder that score app 
produces. Really easy to work with. You can create some stunning, simple designs for your clients. It's really easy to navigate. It's similar to these drag and drop website builders that you get on Squarespace and Wix and things like that. So it's software that you will instantly be familiar with. The questionnaire builder, again, is very, very similar the lead integration so it will integrate with your crms very very easily and as a facebook marketer what i valued massively was how easy it was to integrate with the facebook pixel and conversion api a lot of the software packages that we've used in the past have made that an absolute nightmare it's been really difficult but with score app it's literally just chucking your facebook pixel ID and your conversion api key i think it was that you put in there and it just seamlessly linked up and it auto automatically created an event of scorecard started and scorecard finished so you can just optimize for these events and that was fantastic also their help function we did have an issue at one point with one of our scorecards where the changes that we were making weren't being reflected and it turned out to be a glitch a bug in the system i got onto their help support immediately got immediate advice and the problem was resolved within 24 hours. Other packages that I've used have been very difficult to get hold of and have had a really slow response from the developer team. And then finally, I think the bespoke feedback, you can create what it sends to them afterwards. And it was just a really, really simple system. All of that combined with the analytics is just, I really don't see a reason why you would need to use anything else. There are other softwares out there. Feel free, of course, to go have a look. What I would say is we're not being paid or sponsored to say this either this is impartial advice that i think is best for you and so i do hope that helps score app has been a game changer for us i don't think right now we would actually use anything different so i hope that helps and don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you next time